Hi everyone. I get a lot of questions about what types of water filtration and purification uh, devices I use on my backpacking trips and uh, I thought I'd run through a few of those with you to show you what I use depending upon the type of situation I might be in. I use uh, these Nalgene uh, wide mouth type bottles, one liter uh, bottles that are graduated here from uh, all the way up to uh, in milliliters and in ounces which are real easy for measuring things but most because you know they're flexible but also because there's a lot of things that are compatible with these wide mouth uh, these wide mouth tops so uh, I break this down into uh, filtration and then purification uh, because they're although uh, sometimes lumped together I kind of look at them as two different processes so if I'm somewhere where there's really clear water say mountain streams in Colorado uh, what not. Uh, a lot of times maybe I don't see any particulates in the water, the water looks really clear, you know, I'll just fill up my Nalgene bottle and with no filtration. Uh, however, I will purify the water because regardless of where I got it from, you just can't be sure if there's any viruses uh, or anything else in the water. So at that point, you have the option of either uh, boiling the water, uh, when, so you got to have a stove or something and, and boil it for one to three minutes or so just to be sure that it's killed or you can use some kind of, a, of a tablets uh, like the old iodine which don't taste very good or something like Micropure from Katadin, somebody like that. Uh, these are extremely simple to use and all you need to do is drop one tablet into a liter of water and it'll purify it. Uh, killing everything, viruses, bacteria, protozoa, etc. Only back, uh, only problem with these is that it takes about four hours to be 100% effective. So you've got an extreme time to wait if you want water. Um, the last option would be to use some kind of ultraviolet uh, device like SteriPens, where they, uh, well, they'll purify the water, they'll purify a liter of water in about 90 seconds. 100% effective on bacteria, protozoa, etc., and viruses. So extremely effective. And I'll talk a little bit more about more about this in a second. Um, if I'm somewhere where there's uh, relatively clear water, uh, maybe some particulates in the water, it's just not quite clear. A lot of times I'll use some kind of a pre-filter device. This is again from SteriPen, but can use a lot of different ones. Uh, these have a, a small uh, screen in here. It's a four micron screen and uh, they just it fits in here, adapts to any uh, wide mouth bottle top, screws in place and then uh, from there you can pour the water in here and it'll filter through or you can actually submerge it and let it fill up like that and take it off and it's real easy to clean if you need to clean it but then you've got filtered water and you're ready to purify it again by boiling chemicals or a UV light. Uh, so I'll use that for, uh, for if I need to do some uh, pre-filtering um, if I'm somewhere where the water just really looks bad, and I've seen some of those, uh, been in places like uh, East Texas or something, uh, uh, little streams or even stagnant black water ponds or something like that, I'll use something like uh, my MiniWorks, uh, MSR MiniWorks EX uh, filter. I like this particular device because uh, it uses a ceramic filter. It's 0.2 micron ceramic filter uh, and it's got a carbon core in the middle. It's a little bit different than uh, any, any type of you know pump filter that you might use will, will basically clean the water pretty good uh, for clarity and it'll remove you know bacteria and protozoa. None of them will take out the viruses in this type of pumping system so you'll need to use something for the viruses. Uh, but I do like this one for a couple of reasons. Number one, the carbon core in here takes out all those bad odors, bad taste, etc. That, uh, that can be in uh, the, stand, the, the bad water. Um, I've dropped this uh, filter into, a, like I said, a black icky water pond and the water I filled it up in here looked like it just came right out of an Ozarka bottle. And then I uh, used my uh, SteriPen to go in and clean the water. Um, so uh, any type of thing like that, but you'll wanna, you know, you wanna really clean that water, you know, filter it first. So you use something like that. Um, once you so like I said, once you've got the water in here and you've either used uh, you know boiled it or micropure tablets or, or something or this you're ready to go. Uh, I'll talk about the SteriPen because these are one of my favorite things to use. Uh, SteriPen um, is uh, this is the classic. This is the first one they came out with. These run about 80 bucks retail in the stores uh, or online. Uh, purifies the water using ultraviolet light. 
Um, does a half a liter and does a half liter in about 45 seconds? Is a full liter in 90 seconds? Uh, runs on four AA batteries. You can use standard alkalines or lithiums or rechargeables. Um, I like the I originally like this double A's because I would interchange this with my GPS and my camera. So one set of double A spares would would cover everything. Um, on a standard set of alkalines, uh, it'll do about 30 liters of water. Uh, do about 100 liters of water on a set of lithiums in there, so it's pretty efficient. Uh, weighs about six ounces. Uh, this bulb that's uh, encased inside of a hard plastic shell in here uh, is uh, good for 8,000 hours. The lamp life is 8,000 hours, so it lasts a long time. You just uh, push the button once for uh, uh, for a liter of water, push it twice for a half a liter. Once you've got it set, it says it's ready to go. You'll take it, it's got two little metal probes, you'll dip it down until those probes are in the water, and it'll flash, the light comes on, and you just stir. And it'll let you know after 45 or 90 seconds have elapsed, and your water is absolutely good to go. Um, this one's got a little bit extra, or a little bit uh, additional thing on it. This conical shaped rubberized neck. If you're somewhere where you've got, you know, standard bottles of water, uh, or you fill these bottles up, you don't know where they came from. You can take this, stick it in there, hold it upside down. It seals, and you can just shake it uh, for the time allotted, and it'll purify that water. It's kind of a handy one to use. Um, Newer versions of that are the, uh, uh, the Steripen Adventure. Uh, this actually comes in kind of three flavors. They all look identical except for the color, uh, but functionally they're the same. It's, they've got the uh, uh, yellow and black Adventure kind of targeted. It's all marketing targeted towards uh, backpackers and so on and so forth. They've got an olive uh, drab uh, for you know, military type personnel and they've got it in silver and black which is kind of targeted towards the consumer. It looks like a piece of consumer electronics. Um, again, same exact lamp on it, uh, 8,000 hour lamp. Uh, the only difference between this one is that it uses uh, two CR123 lithium disposables or rechargeables. Um, on these, uh, this will do about 50 liters of water uh, on a set of disposables. So it's got um, uh, a little bit longer than the standard alkalines, but maybe not quite as long as the lithiums in there. Um, I will pretty much just always throw a couple of standard CR123 lithiums in here. I never use rechargeables, just because of the fact that, uh, just for as an example, to charge these two CR123s with a little charging adapter takes about 20 hours of daylight, or you know, two to three, two to three good sunshiny days to recharge those batteries. So it's kind of inefficient. So I never use that. So um, there you go. So. Um, Standard water bottles with wide mouths, the uh, pre-filters in there, the, uh, the things like the uh, MSR Mini Works, and then the uh, that use the, uh, uh, the that carbon filter center, and then the different kinds of stair pins, uh, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much.